sorry for that intro guys um so it's dan from wolfram here um and today we'll be doing a comparison video on destiny 2 of the trinity ghoul which shoots three arrows and can connect i mean i'll prove to you guys if you guys don't believe me as you can see there's three marks here or three arrows um and we will be comparing it against the wish ender um and i mean these are both ooh, different bows um but they are both bows uh, i'm trying to work on getting the lay monarch um because i can do a full bow exotic comparison but at the moment this is all we got um and we or with the uh trinity ghoul it's literally just randomly drops i have horrible rng um, I ended up actually getting this from Zer a couple of weeks ago. In Trinity Ghoul, you have to go and do Shattered Throne, and you have to go and kill a bunch of boxes. Uh, search up on YouTube. It's, it's, it, it seems more complicated than it is. I promise you. Um, Trinity Ghoul is an okay bow. It's probably better in PvP um, than something. I mean, I'm not sure I would use it, counting as it uses an exotic slot, uh, and plus I'm not that good in PvP. Um, and Wish Ender has some more perks for PvE, where in the Dreaming City you can shoot these crystals and they will give you gear. Uh, and there are 40 of them in total spread out through the Dreaming City. Uh, last word, um, and I believe um, the, um, the Shattered Throne as well. And so you have that. Um, and yeah, at the moment I have a pretty cool uh, like ornament on this thing. One set, I'll get it out after I kill these guys. Um, and uh, with Trinity Ghoul, it's like intrinsic perk is when you fully draw her back, um, it will end up giving you true sight or basically it will let you see behind walls, which is pretty cool. Now this is Trinity Ghoul, Split Electron. This is an intrinsic perk. Fires an arrow that splits when released, aiming down sights and fully drawing the bow. Both decrease the spread. And high tension string, tightly strong bow, greatly increases accuracy, slightly slower draw time, but slightly decreases stability as well. Compact arrow shaft, this is increases the capacity. And then lightning rod, precision kills, grant the next shot chain and lightning capabilities. At the moment, oh no, I don't even have it on. Uh, that'll probably be why. Uh, I got this thing, which looks pretty sick, I won't lie. Um, and then, so this is uh, an arc, I assume, yeah, arc uh, energy bow. And this is the wish ender. And so its intrinsic perk is Queen's Wrath. While well, aiming downsides when fully drawn, bow enemies behind walls are highlighted this also works the same in pvp or wherever it is competitive gambit well i haven't actually tested it in gambit but i assume it's the same thing um and yeah that's basically true sight on the spectral blades anyway um same thing with high tension it's got anti-taken fletchings so it's got increased like accuracy when it comes to fighting against them uh, and it's got broadhead which piercing arrowhead that damages the target or an entry exit one shot can over penetrate multiple targets it's basically goes through enemies i've not got any ornaments for it unfortunately um but so this is the trinity i mean yeah this is a trinity ghoul i'll show you guys wish ender if i just take this off now i won't lie this is probably my favorite looking bow or one of my favorite looking things all together. If this will load, it'll show you it does look pretty cool. You guys have to admit to. Um, and yeah, it's got, or I'll show you it. Um, if someone loads, as you can see, you can see the enemy. One thing I would say is, cause, cause it's not too overpowered. Most bows aren't that overpowered if there's one thing i could say that'd be cool is if you could shoot enemies through walls but then again i do see how that could kind of be exploited um but i mean you could just make it that it does a lot less damage like if i were to shoot through this wall and i go like that then i'd be able to shoot it 
Um, I don't know, I just thought you guys didn't know what that meant, but. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool bow. I think it's more that it actually does stuff uh, in physically, the like with the shards, you kind of need it for some stuff. Um, and as you guys can see, um, right above the cursor, or if I go into Siam, uh, there's a statue carved into it, and that is the actual statue that you have to do the missions for. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty good bow. I mean, I'll leave a poll maybe up to you guys on which you guys think is the better bow. Um, but in my eyes, how am I missing these? Uh, in my eyes, I think Trinity Gore is better in PvP um, and all around probably a better bow for fighting. But Wish Ender has a lot of unique perks, I guess you could say. Um, oh, someone just completed their nascent dawn. Um, and so yeah, I'll put back the whole Trinity Ghoul on uh, and I'll show you guys. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Scion. Oh, someone started a thing. Watch out. There's another Where is he? Oh, it's an injection rig, so not as good. I thought I'd be some cool thing. Um, but yeah, um, so I'll quickly, if I take you guys to the wall. So obviously, as you guys know, this has three different arrows. It's got pretty good accuracy. Whoa, that looks cool. Um, it looks like just one massive arrow. Um, and if I spread out further, uh, then it will spread out more. Like it said on the thing, if you don't fully pull it back, it will spread more. So if I just tap it like that, that's how far it goes out. But if I pull it back fully, it will go a lot tighter together. Um, and yeah, it's just all around a pretty decent bow. Um, it's, I mean, obviously, I'll see how long. I think it's the same but you have the whole, you can only hold it back for a certain amount of time. Uh, I'll go, I'll try and go as pretty far away as I can. I'm not sure, sure how it will affect it because it might go differently if it has three arrows in accuracy wise, um, but I mean, we'll test. Okay, so if that goes over there, as you guys can see, it's pretty accurate. If you don't zoom in, <laughs> that's pretty dreadful if you're trying to hit an enemy. But you guys can see it's pretty accurate if you hold it fully back. Um, and we'll move on to the wish ender now. So if I can <laughs> actually load. Uh, wish ender. Oh, yay. No primary ammo on. I'll be back with you guys when I actually find some. So we've got some here. Um, we've got quite a lot. Excuse me, Acolyte. So, as you guys can see, yeah, that's got pretty good accuracy as well. Uh, and I think this is more used as a proper sniper. We'll go and physically compare them next. Um, but at the moment, let's see if we can hit, hit over all the way over here. See if we can still see it. see look at that accuracy that's pretty good um and see if we can get a headshot yep is there anyone over here oh my god look you can see how far it can aim i mean like if if this can reach over there i'd be surprised is that no did that actually just Oh my god, can you guys see that little white dot? I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, I probably shouldn't not zoom in. Um, but yeah, there's... Oh. I forgot, I thought I was using Nova Warp. Um, and so yeah, this is pretty accurate. I'd say this is probably more accurate. And I'll take you guys into the Dreaming City to show you how it properly works. And we are in the Dreaming City right now. Um, 
And right now, uh, I'm just kind of looking around for a crystal. I probably won't find one. Oh, there's some ads down here. And does more damage, like it said, to Taken. And it's pretty overall a pretty good weapon. Um, it seems to, I mean, it might be because of its whole taken etch, etchings thing, um, but it seems to be pretty curvy when I shoot the arrow. It looks like it has some pretty good auto aim, um, which isn't bad. Um, I'll look for some more enemies. Oh, some Baryon Boo here. You can let me collect you. Um, and yeah, um, at the moment, this is the, I don't know what it is, but it looks like the Wings of Sacred Dawn kind of rider thing. It looks pretty cool. Um, <coughs> honestly, I don't go exploring too much, if I'm honest on this. So, I'll have a look. Oh, there must be some ads over here. That's some pretty nice driving you got there, Dan. Um, okay. Now, the real question is, would I use this over a real gun? No. Oh, that, that, that's just giving some effort. Oh, you saw the whole goes through people there. Um, it's just, it's, it, it, it's too slow for what a real gun could normally do, if you get me. Is in. I could have killed these guys much easier, and you see how long it takes to re to like draw back. It's got the longest drawback of anything, um, and I don't know. It, 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 it might just not be worth it. I mean, like I said, it's not that hard to get, but at the same time, it is a bit of a slightish grind. Probably gonna waste it here, but um, yeah. Um, oh. uh, it's it's just like I could take out oh this is a sniper this probably isn't very helpful I mean this is a machine gun and all I get that but I could pick this up I can massacre everyone about 10 times faster <laughs> what? what is this mission oh I need to go and defend it And that's why Skull Darn Car is OP. Can you shoot it? Oh yeah, you can. But can you shoot it without having to aim in? Whoever this guy is, I think he's all season skull. Are you gonna come over to this wizard? Oh no. probably should have saved it for here see what I mean like I could take out my hammerhead and do about triple the damage in a matter of seconds so overall do I think bows are still gonna be able to compete in PvP maybe I mean it depends how good you are with them if you're really that good I think you'd probably be using something else. Maybe like you probably have something like Lunas or Not Forgotten. Oh, this guy's got a well. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, and so yeah, I I think it's more probably it's more something that you just use in general. Um, it's it's like I said, it, it's competable, 
but it's just not the strongest option and unless you're truly a god with bows i don't see any use for it and oh and i'm about to die um thanks teammate um yeah so we just completed this for our event uh and you guys just saw pretty good evidence that it's it, it's a bow i'll leave it at that that's what most bows are like anyway if you guys did enjoy this video uh, make sure to leave a like and if you guys want to see more videos like this or comparison videos just leave a comment down below if you guys haven't already subscribed please do it would really make me happier um and if you guys want to be notified every time i upload a new video then just click that or make sure that bell icon is ringing i'll see you guys in the next one it's been really fun.